Tar Road Farm is a working beef farm with a difference. Since 1983, it's been a foundation skill training facility geared for the intellectually disabled. The goal is to give trainees enough of a skill base to find paying jobs in the community. This is Idea Services Farm. We have 50 acres here and we run 25 rising twos and we run them right through to fattening and send them straight to the works. And we bring in 25 calves in November and we run the process 25 in November each year and run them through to two-year-olds and send them off to the works. We go and purchase 25 calves usually every year in November from the Frankton sales yards. We take the guys and they go with us and help pick the calves. And then also we have the IHC calf scheme coming on board in November, which is their annual fundraising appeal. Here on this property, we stock the calves overnight. So usually there's two to 300 come the day before the sale. Just for the people running the calf scheme, they bring them in and get them checked for their ear tags and they're all up to animal health and welfare just before they can be trucked into Frankton. And sometimes there is some calves that's not quite up to health and yeah, we then carry them on here until they're ready to be sold on for the calf scheme. We have two houses here on the farm and we have four in the main residential house and we have two in the other house. Uh, the two in the cottage as such, they come and they work every day on the farm. They sort of do day-to-day -day running of the farm. We have in the farm house, we have four people from Idea Services. Two use the farm as regular activities and we have um, two that actually work in Hamilton. One's got a full-time job which has only taken place since Christmas but he had been here full-time so he's gained the skills from here to be able to um, obtain a full-time job working in Hamilton. Chris Hartwell is one of the residents at Tar Road Farm. He keeps an eye on the stock over the weekend and does maintenance work, including fixing brake fences. Chris is really achieving well. Chris has had a stint on a dairy farm doing a bit of work experience, which went really, really well, but the farmer moved jobs, so it was out of the area for Chris to continue with that job. And he really enjoyed his time, you know, going a day a week out onto a local dairy farm to gain experience, and that's what we would like for Chris is you know, for him to be able to obtain a full-time job, and that's what Chris would like, is to obtain a full-time job on a dairy farm. He wants to milk cows and wants to work with stock. Four years been here, looking after the stock. Fencing, first aid, farm work. Future is to move on to another farm to milk and get paid. But I like to get paid a lot of money. What we're trying to aim is to use it more as a training resource, to be able to train people to get the farming background, to going out into the community to find full-time employment or some sort of employment. We're not for profit, we're a non-profit organisation of course, so it's making sure that we can just cover our costs of our day-to-day um, -day running. Okay, today on the gardens we've got Stuart and Lucy um, using going to do some planting in the gardens with Lance and Shannon and Raymond. And then can you also pick some silver beet to go into the food bank in Cambridge, please? The benefits of employing a person with intellectual disability is the loyalty. So, yeah, it's just a satisfying part for them to take on someone like that. As a support worker, yeah, it's an awesome job. You get so much reward out of the job, you know, they're just amazing people to work with and yeah, they just, they're happy, you know, that they're getting taught and they've got, you know, a place and environment like this that they can learn from, you know, than being in town and, you know, having that choice of being able to come out and work on a farm and learn farm skills. <coughs> This program was made with funding from New Zealand On Air.